What is up everybody, Cliff Ravenscraft here, and today I am recording just a personal vlog update. It is Saturday, June 30th, 2018. Uh, the sun is just uh, getting ready to set, probably within the next hour or so, and uh, therefore it's, it's beating right down on me. Not that that's all that important to you, but for whatever reason I felt like saying it. Anyway, I have been super excited about creating content recently. For those of you who are following along on my YouTube channel or even my regular updates on Facebook, you probably have caught wind of that. And the other day I created a personal vlog update and talked about the fact that I, I think I hinted at the fact that I was going to create a newsletter, uh, some email strategy. And one of the things that I have learned over the years is that I don't have a passion for writing as much as I used to. I used to enjoy writing messages to people, like like long form. I used to enjoy blogging. Uh, I used to enjoy writing emails to people before there was like HTML websites. I mean, I used to post on BBS systems and long posts and log in later in the day or later in the week to see what kind of comments people had on that sort of material. Now, by the way, for some of you, who um, get a little nervous. I'm getting ready to pass all these people on the same sidewalk as me as I'm recording this vlog for you. Actually, they see this crazy guy and they're moving out of the way. So anyway, I might say hi to them, we'll see. There's just some little girls in the neighborhood. How you guys doing? Good. Say hi to my YouTube audience. Hi. hi. Oh, she, look at that, she's Snapchatting me. What's your channel? Uh, Cliff EOTC. Okay. All right. I might have just picked up three new subscribers. How, do, how about that? See, that's why you shouldn't be so nervous about creating vlog content in public. Anyway, um, it's Cliff EOTC. I think they're really gonna check it out. Hi, if you checked it out, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, um, what was I saying? So email strategy, I'm thinking about this email strategy. I used to love to write until I learned I could create audio content in a podcast and I could actually just talk and use my voice and I didn't actually have to sit down and type and, and then actually go back and proofread. Who, ain't nobody got time for proofreading. Anyway, I, I just don't love to, I don't love to proofread at all. I, I don't like to edit down my thoughts and all that other stuff. I just audio podcast once I discovered and I'm like, oh, this is so amazing. And of course, video is awesome as well. But even in video, I feel like I need to, to edit down and, and stuff like that. But I, I love creating video content as well. Anyway, but I do know that when it comes to business, uh, if you want to market and sell products and services, there really is no better way to do that than to have uh, the ability to drop a valuable email into someone's e inbox and say, hey, I have this offer and would you like to purchase this product or service? If so, click right here. So for example, right now I could tell you, hey, Free the Dream Conference. It's coming up September 7th, 8th and 9th. Um, I could tell you all the wonderful things about this conference and you could say, hey, I really want that. And I say, go to freethedream.live, freethedream.live. And believe it or not, that is, that is not as effective as dropping that message into your email inbox. Because if you're in your email inbox, you're literally one click away. You could just literally click the link and go straight to that sales page and buy your ticket. And so, yeah. The thing is though, is I know that I have some products and services that are extremely valuable. There's no question about my confidence level and the value of the products and services that I have to offer. Uh, but you can't just have a mailing list and broadcast a bunch of sales pitches to people who have signed up for your mailing list. That's not how, you know, people, people don't usually sign up for mailing lists uh, with, with the assumption that you're just going to send them sales pitch after sales pitch after sales pitch. Although, I don't know if any of you know this, but my, my, my first time actually having a mailing list for my business was October 2010, several years after I started my business, by the way. Um, I had personal mailing lists before I discovered podcasting and before I created my own business, but 
for whatever reason, I'd never got a, well, no, I know exactly what the reason is, why I did not get around to creating my own mailing list until October 2010. It's because I fell, in, I fell out of love with writing. And as a result of that, um, I started up this news, I, I started up a mailing list, not a newsletter. I started up a mailing list. And the purpose of that mailing list was so that I could send these broadcast sales messages when I had new products and services. And my opt-in form, an opt-in form for those that don't know this, is where people, you, get, you say, hey, here's, here's the opportunity to sign up for my mailing list. Please provide your name and email address below. And the, uh, that's called an opt-in form. And the message of my opt-in form was, please, put, please enter your name and email address below if you'd like to be notified of the next time I have a new product or service uh, to offer or for the occasional discount that I may offer. And that was, I didn't offer any kind of free th tips, advice, strategies back then or any what they call lead magnet or, um, I, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I, I, it's just like, let me know. And over the course of like three or four years, I had about 2000 plus people who signed up for my sales pitches. Okay. And so it's, it's not like nobody will, but that's, there, there's a more effective way. And that is to have the opportunity for people to sign up for your mailing list and you send them regular, consistent, ongoing, valuable pieces of content via their email inbox. To the place where people who normally wouldn't sign up just for your sales pitches might actually sign up for your valuable tips and advice. So for example, for the past, I think two years, I've had a newsletter called the Podcast Development Newsletter. And that newsletter uh, had like 28 or 32 weeks worth of, of my best tips, tools, techniques, and strategies related to podcasting. And anybody who signed up for that would get one email every Friday without fail of my best tips, tools, techniques, and strategies related to podcasting. And as a result of that, people looked forward to Fridays. They're like, oh my gosh, I can't wait till I get into the office on Friday morning because there's gonna be another email from Cliff. I mean, that's an incredible thing, right? And so, hey Jeremy, how's it going? Have a good day. So, um, that was my neighbor. It looks like they're heading out for the day. Anyway, um, so the thing is, is that every Friday I had that set up. I mean, I had pre-written those and they, I mean, people are, by the way, it, it's June of, well, it's June 30th, 2018. There are people today who are, I don't, can I? No, I'm not going to sit here. There are ants. Let's go inside the house. Hold on. You know what? I might have to find a place to go because the kids are back from their movie. Let me just go downstairs. My apologies for the lighting. Hold on. I'll be right back. That's better. Anyway, let me grab a drink of water. Oh, that's good. All right. So, so basically, uh, you, people can still sign up today. Like, I haven't written a weekly update for that newsletter uh, in over a year and a half now. But if you signed up for that newsletter today, which I think you still can at podcastanswerman.com slash newsletter, I believe you can still do that. That may actually change in the near future because I may switch it over to what I'm about ready to tell you about. But anyway, if people sign up for it today, in you know June 30th, 2018, they're gonna get an email every Friday uh, for the next 30 weeks approximately. So they're gonna get 30 weeks of amazing value from me and I did all of that work of providing that value almost two years ago, which is incredible. And that's why I love, it's called, these are called autoresponder sequences. So you take up a lot of time writing the valuable piece of content and then you schedule it to be released based upon when people sign up for that particular uh, piece, bit of content from your, from your email list. So I've been wanting, I, I, I ended the podcast development newsletter content production when I made a decision uh, to stop focusing on podcast coaching and consulting. I figure I, I, I want to be known more for the mindset stuff, business mentorship, just the, 
life coaching and business mentorship. That's what I wanted to be known for. And so I, I knew that I wanted to shift the focus of what I'm creating in my content, but I actually decided to just completely put all of my newsletter stuff on hold for a, a lengthy period of time. And what I decided to do was to focus first on shifting the rebranding of my podcast, which I changed it from Podcast Answer Man to The Cliff Raven's Craft Show. And that was a bit of a transition, uh, not so much for me, but for people. And and I so I focused on that for a long while. And then I started to shift all of my online identity, such as my website, such as my social media outlets, changing bios, changing the branding message, all of that stuff. And then I started to shift all of my focus in when it comes to the content I'm putting out in social media, including Facebook live streams, this YouTube channel, stuff like that. And now that I feel like I have a really great handle on that, I, I, I feel like, okay, it's time to start up that new newsletter, to, to create a brand new autoresponder sequence for my mailing list. And the thing is, is once, once I decide to do this and I put people into this new sequence, which I, I created one, I think pretty amazing piece of content. Uh, if you sign up for my newsletter today, you could, you could oh gosh, how do you do that? Well, just go to podcast, go to mindsetanswerman.com slash newsletter, which is the same as podcastanswerman.com slash newsletter. Go to mindsetanswerman.com slash newsletter, and you're going to get both the podcast development newsletter and also this new newsletter that I just started as well. It's just that the new newsletter is scheduled to release a brand new piece of content. Number one, immediately, as soon as you sign up, you'll get the first piece of content, and then you'll get one new piece of content every Monday uh, for as long as I keep creating these con this content. So that I, cr I chose to do Monday for the new newsletter. That way, people who are still getting the, because the, there there's several hundred people currently going through the 28 to 32 weeks worth of podcast development newsletter. And so those people are gonna get an email every Friday and every Monday, which I kinda like, I like the fact that I'm cons even more consistently showing up in their inbox with great valuable pieces of, of content. So I, I, I like that, I feel good about that because then when I go to broadcast a sales message saying, hey, I, one day only or for this weekend only or hey, special here for this holiday, go right now and buy this and you'll get this special savings. I, I feel great about sending those messages because I know that that's not all I'm putting out there. I'm actually giving lots of tremendously valuable pieces of content on an ongoing basis. And so yeah, that's what I've been working on. And the thing is, is that I still don't like to write. So I thought initially, hold on. What I would do is I would actually be creating these video vlogs. And not that ever, I, I, I hesitate to tell you. I, you know, here's the thing. I, I wanna create a lot of vlog content. I'm not gonna tell you, I'm not gonna commit to you on a, how frequently I'm gonna put out vlog content. I just have a current, at least in this season of my life, I currently desire to create a lot of vlog content. And I do not expect every piece of vlog content that I put out every day is going to be this epic, valuable piece of content that I think is evergreen and that should make it into my newsletter. But there are gonna be some pieces of content that I feel like, hey, that vlog episode I did, wow that contains some value rich information. I think that if that, and the thing is, is on my YouTube channel as I'm creating these right now, I think if I give it third, each piece of content 30 days, I might hit somewhere between 300 to 600 views at this current moment in time. Um, but I've got thousands of people on my mailing list. And so that, you know, I can actually use the mailing list to draw some attention to some of the more valuable bits of video content. And I figure, you know, hey, what I did with the podcast development newsletter, a majority of those were videos, but those videos were extremely, they were created for the, per for the purpose of that newsletter. Some of these videos are, well, all of these videos, mostly so far, have been created for you, those of you who follow me on YouTube or who are following me on Facebook. And, and so they're not necessarily created or generated specifically for this newsletter. Yeah, they're not. So 
what I was thinking is that, or in the podcast development newsletter, what I did is I would just take the video, put a thumbnail of it, and then I would write like one paragraph leading up entice uh, that would explain the video that I've in decided to include in the newsletter this week and it would be a, a thing that would entice them to click play and then after the video thumbnail in the email I might put just a brief dis like summary of what that video was and I thought that that would be a great format for this as well and I sit there and I started doing that with some of the videos that I've already put on my YouTube channel over the past couple weeks and and what I found is like wait a second I don't necessarily want to rely on, because I, I know the stats. I know that not everybody clicks on the videos. Uh, some of you do, and I think that's awesome, but not everybody clicks on the videos. But I do know a majority of the people, if they open the email and it's not way too long, or if I pique their interest, they will read the email. They may not click through to the video, or if they do click through the video, they may not wanna watch however long that video is, but man, if I actually took the time to rework what I said in the video in written form with maybe just a little bit more of a, of a written message prior to the, the, the thumbnail link out to the video, and then with a little message and say at the bottom of that that says, hey, and for those of you who have no desire to watch the video, uh, below is a bullet point list summary of, of the things that I mentioned in this, that I expressed. And, and what I found is that this is working really well, but it's a little bit more detailed and a little bit more of, say, it, it's a little bit more of relying on me to communicate the heart of the message in that video fully inside of the email, assuming that no one's going to watch the video. And that means it actually does require me to take a little bit more time of actually thinking about the, the ideas expressed and actually taking the time to write it in written form, which is, is it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a form of its own. It's a different form of communication. And so that's what I've been doing. And so currently I have I think four, no, I have the initial, so if you were to sign up right now, or by the way, if you were already on my email list uh, in, in any way, shape, or form, everybody has been put into this new sequence of emails. And so everybody has already instantly, immediately received that, and then if you sign up for the list today over at mindsetanswerman.com slash newsletter, you'll instantly get this first message. You'll also get the Friday newsletter as well. I, I, may, ch I may change that. I know I said that earlier, so I didn't need to repeat that. But anyway, yeah, so these, these emails will come out. And then I have, I have three emails that are written and are ready to go for the next three Mondays. So, I'm, so I, I, that means everybody's gonna get one this coming Monday. That means that I'm two Mondays ahead and my daughter is texting me. No, she's FaceTiming me. Hold on one second. Yes, Megan. What are you up to? I am. Why, why is this a black room? I'm actually recording a vlog right now. What are you up to? I'm laying in your bed. You're laying in my bed. Can I do something for you? Nope. Just wanted to see what you're up to. That's what I'm up to. This is going to be in your vlog. You, you, have, you are in my vlog right now, although it just says poor connection video will resume automatically when connection improves. Are you going to edit this? It is not going to be edited out. Why not? Because it doesn't need to be. It's a personal vlog update update today. No. I think you might need to edit it. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. I love you. Love you too. All right. Bye. Bye. Okay. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. I, I have, I'm a couple weeks ahead. The, the goal is to get to the place where, well, I've already got in the archive, because I'm creating so much vlog content, and not that I'm saying that all of it, it's extremely valuable, all of the vlog content I've put out in the last seven or eight days, it's not all gonna be in the newsletter, but there are at least five videos that I think that, that would be worthy of it. And it doesn't all have to be video content, because I think about this, I've got some podcast audio content, and again, I may link back to the audio podcast episode, but I already have, I already took the time for some of that, I have like, 12 or 13 podcast episodes that I've done in the, well, since the beginning of this year, 
that are, well, actually since September, there, there are some amazing pieces of content and I actually took a ton of time to outline that content. And I realized that, that tons of people have already heard those episodes going all the way back to September, but it never, well, yeah, I believe that repetition is the mother of skill. And I will communicate it in written form differently than I did in audio form, and it'll probably be a little bit more edited down and, and bite-sized consumption and, and a valuable reminder to people who maybe didn't take action uh, when they first heard it the first time. So that's what I'm doing. That my, I'm, I'm super stoked, very excited about creating vlog content here on YouTube and uploading it to Facebook as well. And I am excited about the fact that I'm back to creating consistent, valuable pieces of written content to drop into people's email inbox on a com consistent basis so that when I do drop in a, a special note about a product or service that I have to offer, that I don't feel like I'm just sending sales pitches all the time. That's what I'm up to. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in to today's uh, vlog update. If you're enjoying these, give me a thumbs up or a like button on Facebook. I always love your comments. If you tell me that you're, if you, if you leave me a content, a uh, content, if you leave me, if you, leave, I'm not editing any of this out. If you leave me a comment telling me that this information is valuable, that it's adding value to your life, it just fuels my fire and gets me excited about creating that next one. So I'm a words of affirmation guy. So yes, I'm fishing. Love you guys. Until next time, I encourage you to take everything you do to the next level. Bye.